Fresh data on job openings in the U.S. has shown that the labor market is cooling and aligning with the Fed's tough action to bring down inflation. Now, the lower-than-expected figure was met with a mixed reaction from the financial markets. Our Moon Hedian has the details. Job openings in the United States dropped to the lowest level in more than two years, signaling a cooling labor market on the back of high interest rates. According to the U.S. Labor Department on Tuesday, the number of job openings fell to 8.7 million in October, a sharp drop from 9.3 million the month before. It's the lowest number of job openings since March 2021 and is also lower than the expected 9.4 million job openings projected by Dow Jones. This decline is significant as labor market conditions are considered by the Federal Reserve when forming their interest rate policies. Despite the Fed's aggressive rate hikes to ease inflation, the U.S. job market has been surprisingly resilient. This latest figure, however, suggests that higher interest rates are finally dampening demand for workers. It also falls in line with data released last week that showed consumer spending slowing in October. With this latest announcement, Wall Street had a mixed end to trading on Tuesday amid expectations that the Fed could start cutting interest rates soon, and the 10-year Treasury yield falling to its lowest level since September this year. The benchmark S&P 500 sector indexes and the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell, while the tech-heavy Nasdaq gained 0.31%. So I see a, a dichotomy as to what's going on in the market today between bonds being very bullish Yet it looks like, obviously, that stocks are a little bit more um, cautious about the outlook for their prospects going forward. The financial markets have shown fluctuations throughout the past few months, with the S&P 500 index rising by over 10 percent in November from late October, amid hopes that the Federal Reserve has halted their rate hikes. It's widely expected that rates will stay unchanged at the Fed's FOMC meeting next week, but some stock markets investors are reportedly betting on rate cuts in March next year. More economic indicators are due to be released before the December interest policy is announced, such as the November jobs report. Moon Haryan, Arirang News.